what's up everyone today we have a craftsman uh, overhead valve five horsepower I believe I know the foot pounds of torque so that's actually probably a lot less anyway point beam anyway the problem with this one is that every time you prime it starts and it stops. That's it. So I think we all know what the problem is here. Okay, and that's the video. Subscribe. I was joking. So let us take off the front cover and the side and get this started. So I don't know if there's any fuel in here. Let's take a look. There definitely is. I was hoping that would just be our problem, but it's not. Okay. So 5 sixteenths will assist us for the top. So let's do the top. Next one. These are rusty. Okay. Now you don't need to do that, it's just a lot easier to take the tank off. In fact, let's just do that now. This general vicinity is where spiders like to hang out, so be careful. If you hear a noise, it's because it's the weekend. And apparently, laundry needs to be done. So the two sizes we need are 15 16 That holds this. Oops. That holds it onto the actual bracket. And the next is oh, 9 30 seconds. That will remove this from the actual carburetor. And for cleanliness, the reason why we remove the tank so when we take off the carb we could just take off the carb off the um, tank upside down so it won't leak everywhere now there's a like a white retaining ring and this little um, rubber o-ring you want to make sure it either stays in there or if it does go and stay on the actual intake, just kind of remember that you're gonna, it's best practice to put it in the carburetor and then shove it onto the engine. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take it off and we'll take it over to the carb station. So, word of a caution when you take the fuel line off here, don't just rip on it. It is plastic, it could just easily break off and ruin your day. I didn't do that, but. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Anyway, 3.30, oh, 9.30 seconds. Taking it, these off with the impact is fine, putting them on. I do it, but I wouldn't suggest you do it. This is just plastic, by the way. Now, let's get our cup. I need a bigger screwdriver. Let's see here. Is this big enough? Mm, not really. I don't know where my big screwdriver went, but this seems to be working. 
usually you get leverage on one side, like so. And then there we have it. So if that wasn't the cleanest bowl to begin with, so I don't suspect all that crap from there came from the tank, or excuse me, from the bowl, but I mainly collected to see if there's water. So far I don't see anything. Swirling is not going to help that one either though, but let's move on. The part that is almost always the culprit is this. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Well, kind of. Now, with your screwdriver, just go in the bottom, like so. Kind of wiggle it in there. And then just kind of pry it off until you get a nice, good grip. And it just comes right out. It's the easiest way of doing that. Now, it should, oh, there we go, with minor amounts of force, come right out. So this is the piece. Now you can either replace this, which is, to be honest, not much cheaper than just buying a cheap carb on Amazon, if anything's cheaper, or take your air compressor and blow it out. To save your ears, I'm going to do that off camera. Got it all blown out. One blow in there, and there, and there, and in there. You want to be careful though because there are these little ball bearings shoved in there so you don't want to have to too much pressure. I think mine's like, well mine's set to like 120 but it's turned off and I think it's like pushing like 60 psi through there. So now we take it, kind of look at the condition of the carburetor itself. It doesn't look dirty in there. It's almost always just this, so I'm just going to assume it is. And put it back evenly on both sides. Push it through until it clicks. Now, sometimes that little white piece right there can... It, it's, it has a hole in the bottom to allow the emulsion tube, that little piece sticking up. That's part of what we just took out. Um, it can shift. The white ones don't seem to do that, but the ones that are black, they're usually in the auto choke systems that can be much kind of a pain so when you take the this out the emulsion tube or what I would consider the emulsion tube make sure to kind of treat this with gentle hands let me wind this up like I said you should not do this so don't I know you're thinking about it, but I'm just going to tell you right now, don't do it. It's going to ruin your day. And if you do, do it like that. You notice how I started at first and it went very slow. And that's all you need. So let's go ahead and put it back on. So here's the tank. And there's the carburetor attached to the carburetor so to do this properly we're gonna want to take this off probably should have done this without the tank on shove that back in there kind of got ahead of myself take this white piece shove that in there should click there we go and then we take it and we put the linkage back on Probably gonna spill a little fuel in the meantime. There we go. Let me put that back on. Push it tight. Put the fuel tank back on. System back on. And angle it like so. And then these just fit into little holes. There's one on either side. And since I have the 930 seconds on my impact already, let's do that one first. One on the bottom. Again. 
you notice how I don't go click click? The reason why is because this is still the carburetor. And you are in the way. Five sixteenths. Those go into metal, so you can be a little less careful with them. Still want to be careful. You know when you recycle aluminum cans, half of that can goes to make this bracket. Okay, I'll put the top on, and um, we'll see if it works. Okay, let's push prime. I already checked the oil, it's fine. Plug is connected. Let's go. Okay, so it runs. Um, we're not quite sure what's happening when it over revved. I think it was just the throttle plate got stuck. It happens sometimes. Um, but started it up again, had no problems. And then um, while you were gone, let me show you. Uh, right there. There's this little piece of metal. If you bend that metal a little bit towards the carb, I noticed it was a little low after it kind of got adjusted to itself. Um, it will rev it up a little bit. So it should be good to go now. Um, RPM seems to be going fine now. And um, yeah. So if you're having a problem when you push the primer and just stops and starts and stops, pretty good place to start right there. Um, if you have other questions, any other issues, you know, leave a comment below. If this helped you. Let me tell. Uh, let me um, tell me on uh, what exactly helped you on. If you have anything else, leave a comment below. Definitely put your thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Definitely subscribe. That also helps. I'll catch you later. And bye. So it's been about an hour. And I know I said this is the end, but I want to. Something just kind of bothered me. Um, why did it rev up? I'm 99% sure it was just a kink in the in the linkage. But I would have cool. Let's prime it. Let's try this again and see if it happens again.
up. It seems good. Okay, well, that should be it. I'm going to put a new plug in it and change the oil. I forgot to mention that the last time I said this was the end, but this is really the end. So, yeah, yet again, thanks for sticking around. Catch you on the next one.